Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful today. I woke up so late because, uh, because, because I went to bed super early. I fell asleep. And then I woke up at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Then I was up until 6.30. And then I laid back down. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I'll tell you what happened. Ooh, look at the new growth. Look at that. All that green coming up. I got to cut all that down. Okay, so Robert came over yesterday. Well, when the kids got out of school, Serenity and Robert... Wanted to go on a bike ride, so I had to go with them. So we went and we rode around a little bit. We went and talked to Robert's mom. I reconfirmed, you know, I took, I had talked to her before I talked to the boys about doing the video, and then I talked to Edric first, and then I talked to Eli. No, I think I talked to Robert first, briefly. And then I went into detail when I talked to Edric, and then I talked to Eli and went into detail with him. And then Robert came over and I went into detail with him about the video and showed him my idea. And then we did a practice run with just Robert. And then, because uh, Robert is the one that has to learn the song. The rest of us have easy parts, but Robert's part is a little bit more detailed. And so then we also had to go over our costumes and um, what we had and what we still needed to, to get. And the, we only need one. We need something that looks like a drum cymbal of some kind. I haven't, like, figured it out. I can make one of cardboard, but I'm not sure how I'm going to work that. That's the only thing that we lack. Oh, look. I don't know where it's at, and the sun, it's driving, going towards the sun. So anyway, Robert came over, and we did a bunch of practice runs with the song um, and his equipment, and then he's going to spend the next four or five, today's Tuesday, March 19th, and then he's going to spend the next couple days rehearsing the song, his part in the song, and then... Um, I'll meet up with the boys, all three of them will do a couple practice runs, they'll go home and think about their parts, and then, because the timing of the video is what's most important, it can't have snow, which is going to snow this weekend, and I don't want to rush the video, so we're going to wait till after the snow, and then um, the snow has to melt, and it has to be at sunset. It's really important that the video is done at sunset. It's it's all part of what makes it, you know, and we're going and and we have to clean out in front of the white truck because the white truck is a uh, key to the video. And um that's just really important because what we're doing is we're doing a copy of a band and we we're all we're going to be dressed like each one of the band members the band the song did a video like there's there's a lot of youtube videos on with people doing their own uh, like part of it but we want to try to do as close as we can to the original video to the original music video but we're also doing it in a 30 second time frame. So we're taking bits and pieces and the different things that are in the original video, we want to put it. And they had a really nice, beautiful, brand new white track. And um, we're going to use this old 1953 bread track because it's white. And then like the drummer has a pink beanie. And he wears sunglasses, so Edric is going to be the drummer. And he's going to, um, I have a pink beanie, and we have sunglasses for him. And we're all going to wear white t-shirts and jeans, because they're wearing blue jeans. And then uh, Eli's looking for a short-sleeved black button-up shirt to go over his white t-shirt. Like, it's going to be unbuttoned. 
And then also we have to find him a jean jacket, which is, I have a jean jacket my mom bought me, but it has red roses on it. And it just wouldn't work. Like, you know, it's got like embroidery stuff on it. We could, I could probably fold it to where you couldn't see it and then just like have it laying in the background or something. But we're really hoping to find one that he could wear. And we had a blue um, bandana, a baby blue bandana, but now we found a black one. So he'll be able to switch the blue one out for the black one now. And then we're all going to be wearing sunglasses. And then, oh, for the band equipment... We're going to use all Guitar Hero equipment. Like, I have the drumsticks. I have a black guitar. I have a red guitar. Um, I used to have the drum set to the PlayStation when because my it, this was my kids' stuff when they were younger, and I still have all their stuff. But I think I gave away the drum set because it was such a pain to store it. I think we got rid of it. I think I talked to them about it, and I think we got rid of that. But I still kept all their other stuff. Like, they have the cordless black guitar, and then they have... I have two red guitars. Anyway, so we're going to use those equipment. And then for drums, we're just going to use, like, a five gallon, a couple five-gallon buckets. And I need to come up with an idea for, like, a cymbal. And then um, we're, the wagon is going to make a debut in it in the... They don't have a wagon, but we have to use the wagon because there's no way we can carry all this equipment. Oh, and then my, we were going to use my yard light as a microphone, but I think I might have a real microphone from the uh, Guitar Hero set. But look, it's Baroque. I remember I had the, the broad iron music uh, microphone holder thing. Um, I took that in the house because that's what Robert's practicing. Robert's going to be the lead singer. Eli's going to be a guitar player. I'll play a guitar. And then Edric's going to do drums. And, um, the boys are so excited because first of all, this is one of Eli's favorite songs and, and he really likes the band. So he's super excited that it's a song that he really likes and he likes the band they know the song. Edric knows and Robert know the song. They just don't know the words very well. So we have to teach Robert the words. So they're super excited about that. They love the whole idea. We, I've walked them through the parts that we'll do and the things that we'll do to make it easy for us. And, um, you know, like it's just a matter of them practicing for the rest of this week and then us waiting for sunset because it has to be done around sunset and even yesterday the sunset was really pink and we're trying to really not go for the pink background we're trying to go for like a real red utah looking background because we live out here in the desert and we've got like a mountain over there we can choose to that because in the their video there's a mountain that similar looks like our table rock one so, like, we're trying to get that in there somehow, and then, but we'll probably end up using this mountain over here more. But, yeah, I don't know. We're going to figure it out, because we're going to do it right here on the street. Like, this old, how, it, it, like, it'll come together. It'll look good. Anyway, so then when Robert was here, he helped me. So, this bed didn't change, but I think today when Robert comes by, um... He made a deal with me that uh, if he helped me in my garden this year, which he helps every year, so I don't know. It's his own deal. He made his own deal. I don't know. I just agreed with whatever he said because I didn't know where he was going with it. He wants, that if he helped me in my garden, that if he could have an area where he could grow his own garden stuff, like he wants to grow a watermelon and a, a pumpkin and like a few other things. And I said, I don't care. So I'm going to give him a whole corner and I'm just going to let him plant whatever he wants and um, let him take care of it or whatever. And I'll probably take care of it, but you know, like he wants his own thing. So I'm going to do that. Like whatever he wants, I don't care. 
So I'm going to have him take the wood, the bark, and have him make a border around here and pull out the little bit of grass that's in there. I'm going to have him do that today. Um, this he helped me with yesterday. We pulled out a little bit, so we're going to finish this, you know, pulling out all the dead and weeding it out and getting it all looking good again. We did this yesterday where we got in here and we're still going to pull some more pieces of wood out. There's still a little too much in there, but I do like where we're going, where we're going with it. And then did this one, but it still needs a little bit of clean, but we're going to let the wind also kind of do its thing. This one got finished. This one I really like, and I think I'm going to leave this exactly the way that it is. The tulips, see? The tulips. That Those are all popping in. And then, down here, look at all these blooms. How beautiful that, oh, look. There's a big old bee. He's going to town already. So, look how pretty these are. Oh, there's another bee. Yeah, look at that one, though. That one's huge. And look at him. I mean, he's getting in there. He's not even playing around. Oh, man, that's cool. Yay, yay, yay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you get all over them. You just get right in there, buddy. It spreads that pollen all around. Oh, look at him. That is cool. Okay, and then we cleaned away all. Oh, then the him and Serenity wanted to rake, so I let him rake right there because, you know, like that's just the thing. And then we cleaned up all of this whole line of irises that I had transplanted. So look, that's a nice, healthy, um, I mean, it, they were big and beautiful when I planted them here, but they look fantastic and that's a lot. And if these made it through this winter, these are golden. And so now I cleaned them all away. These are going to start growing really good. They'll be really thick by next year. They'll be real. It'll be nice, thick line. And then the year after that, I'll have to be like, you know, pulling them, trying to keep them in their perfect line. So we worked on that. And then we worked on, or I came along and I discovered the daffodils. These are really tiny ones. So that's good. Because I'm going to border this bed out. I just don't have any rocks. And we're I'm going to be getting rocks this summer. I'm going to have the boys go get me some. This is the tulip bed. And see the wind's already pushing the leaves up into a corner. Which is what I'm just going to let it do. Because it's going to be windy the next couple days. But I'm going to work on this. Robert's going to come over and help me work on this bed. And this bed and getting and then raking all the pile to the other pile see the winds already picking up so you can tell by the flag over there that's how I tell how windy it is by how hard the flag goes oh and then I have this I might work back here too on these are tumbleweeds this is a tumbleweed i don't even know how they get like the wind has to blow them really high to get them up into my yard but ever since i put the fence up now everything stops so we're gonna have to i'm gonna have to rake all of this and then I have irises all in this dead line. So I'm going to have to...
pull out all this dead stuff and then maybe rake all that and then I'm going to take this fence down and replace it with the same size fence this is and then I'm gonna order my brown stuff I'm getting my brown stuff this year like I didn't spend nothing this month like I really hoarded my daughter didn't borrow any money from me this month so I have like enough that I can buy two um, pieces I want three pieces so I'm really gonna try to get three pieces because I want a piece to go right here from you know that separate so that way the uh, I don't mind a little bit of leaves but I get a lot of leaves in my yard so it'll block and I'll have a little less leaves and then and it'll give me a windshield which is better for my garden and then I want to put another I'm going to buy another fence the same fencing I'm just going to buy a roll and it's put it along here and then uh the, start the piece where that one ends and then elbow it to come along this line so then my garden will be more boxed in and it will get less wind inside the my garden which will be better for my garden like I want a little bit of wind but you don't want we get high winds out here it's crazy and I think probably what I'll end up doing is planting five I don't know if I have enough room for five so let's see if I go one two three I can squeeze three fruit trees I think in along this line and I think that's what I'm gonna do because then that way someday I don't the the trees will be more of a protected and then it'll be I'll have two apple trees a plum tree I'm definitely doing at least two nectarines and then I can do I don't know I don't want to do a cherry tree because my neighbors have a cherry tree and if I have if I do two nectarine trees I'll, and two apple trees that's plenty to be able to give as gifts and then my plum tree and then maybe I'll get another a different color plum because I have the yellow plum so maybe I'll get like a purple plum or something anyway I've yapped a lot and it's so beautiful, even though it's like a little bit windy. It's just really beautiful. It's like in the 60s. It feels like it's 60s. It's probably like 50-something. But it feels like 60s. And it's because my room is all, like, the best I can get it is like 64. So I'm used to that um, degree. So, like, anywhere from 54 to 64 is like, eh doesn't really matter to me because I can't get my room much warmer than that which I'm going to work on I'm going to call a maintenance guy and have him try to come and I need my door to be reframed so that it doesn't have big old gaps all the way around it and that will help me keep my heat in and then I have I I need to build a wall the wall like people complain about having a wall but if you don't have a wall let me tell you what you're a supporter of the wall <laughs> I need a wall I need a wall so bad I have this eight foot by eight foot gap that goes into the garage so all the fumes from the garage will leak into my room all you know like my air escapes there I mean I have like these huge drapes hanging then I have curtains hanging on the other side I have a partition wedged in in between that I have cardboard like it's this inside those two sheets or those if you were to open split those two drapes out and look down the center of that pile of craziness plastic everything that you can think of to build a wall <sighs> 
it's insane and I just can't do it anymore and I lose so much air so um I need a wall and a door frame I have a door to hang on it I just I managed to get that I just need to get like some two by four by eights I think I need maybe five of them five to six to seven of those I don't know I'm just gonna have to hire a, a person to come and frame that in I just need them to frame it in if they could frame it in I can figure out how to I can do the drywall I just need because it's not very much drywall I just need them to frame that part in and hang the door to put and put the door on and then I'll be good to go and then then I think I'll be able my room will be a lot warmer I can raise the temperature up a little bit next winter. I'm not worried about it right now because it's beautiful weather. So, anyway, have a great day. And look how beautiful it is. And look how quiet it is. All the kids are at school. Can't hear nothing. The birds must be off doing something because usually they're harassing my yard. But I don't really see any. All right. Have a good day. Bye.